The world is getting hotter. The oil, gas and coal we burn in our vehicles and power stations puts huge amounts of carbon into the atmosphere every year. This carbon traps the sun's heat and warms our world faster than ever. This global warming is changing our climate in dangerous ways. Now flooding, storms and rising sea levels threaten more and more people. In Southeast Sulawesi's coastal communities, the danger is all too real. Kekuatan arus yang semakin deras, terus ombak yang besar-besar, kondisi yang demikian yang membuat masyarakat kami tidak berdaya. Bigger storms make it too risky for fishermen to go out to sea. Di musim-musim seperti itu, nelayan tidak bisa mencari. Meaning months without money from catches. The sea is claiming more and more village land. Rising tides have forced some families to abandon their homes. This beach used to be a bustling market. Awalnya di sekitar ini adalah daratan. Daratan yang dihuni oleh beberapa warga. The future is clear. If coastal communities don't adapt to climate change, their homes and livelihoods will be at risk. But there is hope. The Indonesian government is working to prepare coastal communities to face the future. Kementerian Kelautan dan Perikanan mempunyai beberapa strategi. Yang pertama adalah melakukan identifikasi tingkat kerentanan desa pesisir. Dari situ kita menyusun rencana aksinya. Untuk tingkat kerentanan kita dibantu oleh USAID melalui program IMAX-nya, sehingga diperoleh 100 desa yang sudah dinilai tingkat kerentanannya. This process is called eye catch or MBAPI. You can see how it works here in Lia Bahari village. The process starts with a three-day vulnerability assessment. Here, the villagers work with an eye-catch facilitator to draw a map of their village, make a calendar of their main activities in the village each month, and pinpoint the biggest threats to the village from climate change. Dampak yang paling membebani bagi masyarakat itu disepakati oleh mereka sendiri. Having the community identify their own problems is a vital part of the process. Ini bukan kita merencanakan bukan kebutuhan orang, tetapi memang betul-betul lahir dari kebutuhan masyarakat desa tersebut. In Lia Bahari village, they decided the biggest threat was ever worsening storms, which stop fishermen fishing. So, in the next stage, action planning, they decided how to expand their seaweed farming industry to provide alternative income to fishermen in the months when they can't fish. The government brought in seaweed industry experts and worked with the community on their plans. Dinas Kelautan dan Perikanan melakukan action mensupport masyarakat dalam pengadaan bibit rumput laut. Now the community is implementing their climate adaptation plan and the village head is optimistic the new and improved farming techniques will yield a bigger crop this year. Masyarakat saya sangat berterima kasih dengan bantuan IMEC yang telah menyusun dua buah buku ini karena dari sini dari kedua buku ini merupakan pedoman bagi masyarakat bagaimana bertotot tanam selanjutnya karena di sini telah diatur dua kalendernya. And this is just one success story of many. Kita kan sudah melakukan kajian kerentanan masyarakat pesisir kerjasama IMAX dengan pemerintah Provinsi Sulawesi Tenggara dan lima kabupaten kota di Sulawesi Tenggara. Rumba Rumba Village in South Konawe finished its climate adaptation plan in March 2013. Today you can see how many of those plans have been translated into concrete action. They built a 300 meter wall and planted new mangroves to protect their homes from waves. They've expanded fish traps so fishermen can catch fish while avoiding dangerous seas. And they've developed the seaweed industry and a lobster farm as safe alternatives to fishing. Di saat-saat yang mereka istirahat itu bisa ada kegiatan lain dari selain daripada nelayan ini memancing. They brought in experts to help develop new cottage industries for fishermen's wives so they can earn for their families when their husbands can't take their boats out to sea. 
Women now run a restaurant that serves seaweed meatballs, a palm sugar business, and a fish drying facility to preserve fish for the months when fish can't be caught. Schemes like this are having a huge impact. Ibu-ibu ini, inilah yang mempunyai kegiatan tambahan ekonomi yang sangat membantu sekali. Istri bisa membantu suami cari kerja. Tidak ada lagi eh, derajat suami tinggi, sama. It all shows what's possible with iCatch. When the government and the community come together to assess a village's vulnerability to climate change and take action together, fishermen are safer and have alternative incomes, women are empowered to play a greater role in supporting their families, community businesses thrive, and the whole village becomes resilient to climate change. Coba mari ikuti kami yang di Desa Liap Bahari Indah. Kalau Desa Liap Bahari Indah bisa sejahtera dengan hasil dari kalender ini, kenapa desa-desa tetangga tidak?